we have a parallelogram with four sides that are equal, and I've labeled those X, and we know that this angle and this angle is 60, and parallelograms, adjacent angles, have to sum up to 180 degrees, so that means this is 120. Now, this would be my short diagonal, and if you split this angle in half, which is what that does, that gives me 60 degrees. So that means that all three angles are 60 degrees, which means all three sides have to be equal. So we're trying to figure out the ratio of the length of the shorter to the longer, short to long. So we now know that the short diagonal, which is that dashed line, is X. And now let's look at the long one. What do I know about the long one? Well, this is my long one. And that's X and that's X. So when I draw that long diagonal, I now have an isosceles triangle. And I know that if I draw both diagonals, we know that forms a 90 degree angle here. What else do I know? I know this is 30 because I split half of that. And of course, this is a right angle. That means this has to be 60. Let's call this Y. We're trying to find the length of the long diameter. Now I know, and you should memorize, if you have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, the relationships of the sides are one, two, and square root of three. So I want you to look at this triangle and compare it to the one I've drawn on the right. So I know that X is the two as Y is the square root of three. And we're trying to find the length of Y and then we're gonna multiply it by two to get both pieces. So let's solve for Y. That gives me two Y equals square root of three X, I cross multiplied, so y equals the square root of 3x over 2. And if you multiply this by 2, those 2's will cancel because you had to get both, both sides. So now the long side is square root of 3x. The x is canceled, so the ratio is 1 over square root of 3.